So our work with the cosine function is very much the same as our work with the sine function, where if we want to get a general shape of what cosine looks like, what we can do is take those same basic values, those same important values, pi over 6, pi over 3, pi over 2, 2 pi over 3, 5 pi over 6, and pi, then flip them all over to the other side of the axis, and we get a very similar picture from the cosine function. The big difference that we'll see here is the cosine function and the sine function have essentially the same behavior, it's just cosine is phase shifted over a little bit to the right, in particular pi over 2 units to the right which interestingly is actually enough in and of itself to make cosine a even function, whereas sine is odd. It is unusual, at least looking at it now, how that happens. But when it comes to looking at variations, when it comes to things we can do with the cosine function, understand that, much like how making the basic picture went the same way as it did with sine, when we're making varied versions of cosine, we'll follow the same five steps that we did for making pictures of sine. And we'll see one of those next.